We bout to play 2K Brutal Sims, step back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up, that's game What dope, what dope, it's your boy You don't know Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked I mean with a next um informational video for y'all man um this i think everyone that's thinking about creating a lockdown defender should watch this video man this will save you a lot of time and um help you make your decision on what height whatever man you need to know about lockdown defender i'm probably gonna reveal a few things that a lot of people already know and probably share some stuff that i learned man so basically this is gonna be my version of the secrets to creating the secrets of a lockdown defender all right so let's go straight to the build right um i prefer right the reason why i created a small forward was because of the matchups i'm able i'm able to match up with all positions pretty much beside the post and anytime anyone catches in the post as a lockdown defender spam the steal button y'all all right don't don't even think about it but um look at the weight right i'm six seven 180 pounds that's the lightest weight possible i do advise that you always as a lockdown defender go to the lightest weight possible right at small forward right the one reason why people tend to put up some more weight is because they want to get their strength up there but this game is about speed speed wins all right and with the strength that you get from this lockdown defender it's stronger than any person this game will pretty much match you up in his position or point guard position or whatever the only people that is probably stronger might be a center or like post players basically power forwards these big ass dudes that slow as hell either way and you're just gonna spam steal on them either way man so i recommend that you go the lightest weight possible right i decided to go six seven and 180 pounds because it's the quickest in his arm um, what 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 in the category of what small forwards and he could he could literally keep up with point guard because he's that fast because of his his weight light as hell make sure and max out the arms when you're building them out max out arms and shoulders make it the lightest weight possible man i'm telling y'all very effective build right and i'm going to show you all right now the badges you must have beside the five main badges that you can't do without with a lockdown defender um i do advise you get acrobats mm, pretty good badge um make it helps make contested layups and those chain shots inside pick and roll of course um as well because with your strength being this high you're going to be setting a lot of screens popping or whatever me um put back king is just a fun badge to have um relentless finish of course with your strength in there it helps um you make a lot of contested shots especially against smaller players right um tear droppers catch and shoot is a must now this combination that's coming up right here is a must have right this is because my shooting as it stands is just a 60 right and when you look at um these badges catch and shoot corner specialist deep range dead eye limitless range mid range dead eye pick and popper those badges right there is must have especially if you want a lockdown defender that shoots as consistent as i do right all right let me go over them again catch and shoot corner specialist deep range dead eye limitless range mid range dead eye pick and popper pick and popper is one of the most effective badges especially with the combination of corner specialists all right when you set a screen that's once you get through that screen sprint to the corner man catch and shoot that green lights most of the time you're gonna get green light like 80 percent of the time no bullshit right that combination right there is a must have with lockdown defenders right um break starter yes because you won't get a lot of turnover steal it helps um our next one is of course dimer for every archetype um let me see pick and roll maestro not so much um rim protector is a must of course although i do advise you steal a lot more then you try to block shots man I, I try to block shots for fun but really if i'm really try hard mode i'm going to steal spam with that steal button bruiser is a must lob the finisher of course because you're speedy you're playing with a small point guard it's going to be very effective one man fast break very effective very very effective after getting these steals yo i, I literally get a steal like multiple times pull up on the three-pointer one man fast breaks kick seat I'm telling you, very effective, man. 
Uh, posterizer, of course, is a good badge to have as well because of the speed and the agility. You're gonna dunk on a lot of people, man. A lot of people. Um, so those are the most important badges that are named out right there. Let me go over them real quick again. Um, posterizer, one man fast break. Um, love to the finisher. Rim protector is a must. All right, you can't be a defender without rim protector. Um, where is it? Um, break starter, very good badge as well. Um, pick and popper, mid range dead eye, limitless range, deep range dead eye, corner specialist, catch and shoot. All right, those are the must have badges with lockdown defender. Right, and let's go into the attributes real quick. Let me show you all what I'm working with and why I place the attributes how I place them. Right. Um, let's go in here where you could actually see the numbers, right? Okay, now of course you gotta max out that defense, man. All right, as I said, look at the strength. My strength is a 69. Now, anyone in small forward and down, unless you're a lockdown defender, I could match up with that strength. And lockdown defender, and that they're not that good at offense most most of the time to be honest right so anytime they got that ball and trying to post you up all you gotta do is spam that steal right so the strength is not really that effective all right as let's say a post player which might be the only one who could really uh pretty much try to man you up in there and then you're gonna spam the steal again right with that pickpocket hall of fame ain't no one can use their strength on you that's why you ain't gotta really worry about that weight and you could really focus on that speed you see that speed right here all right 85 speed 85 acceleration 87 vertical beast i'm telling y'all in open court this dude is similar to a slasher i play with him just as how i play with my slasher i mean i ain't got no posterizer dunk animation which i should have done 2k for not patching it really patching it but you know i'm still effective at dunking and pulling off all type of crazy ass dunk this is the only play i got all the park dunks with because i'm successful with dunking with these park dunks i don't know if it's because of the agility or what but i do get a lot of crazy dunks with this dude right here man all right and that's because he's light as shit quick as hell and um let me show you all one more thing you see that defense right here because of his quick lateral quickness on 87 all right it does matter all right i can literally hold down and stay in defensive um mode while in defensive stance my bad while staying in front of these spammers and point guards and point forward that are quick as hell i could i could do that and the next thing i gotta tell y'all don't look at the numbers lateral quickness and agility right it's a lot easier to stay in front of players out of defensive stance anytime you get up on a speed booster Get out of that defensive stance. It's gonna be useless to you. It's gonna be hella useless, right? Get out of it and use the agility. I know it does say it's higher, you're supposed to be quicker laterally, but it's not. All right, that's the next tip. That's the next secret on defense that you can use for all archetypes, especially like, um, that's why playmakers defend speed boosters so well and point forwards because of the agility. Once you get out of that defensive stand, you dean up a lot of people very very easy and of course i do i do um advise that you put some on the rebounds man you're gonna get all that strength you might as well use it in there and and your arms are gonna be maxed out once you follow my advice all right once you follow my advice with his arms um that long his shoulders long his strength right up there and i mean he gonna be long he gonna be like Kevin Durant, bro. Right. I know he's only six seven, but he gonna be snagging. He is gonna be snagging with this much rebound, you know. And you already know of my five point rule, right? All right. I know this. While I was creating all these archetypes, um, only in five point interval you really see a difference when adding these attributes, right? So once I get something like a um 73 or something, I, I might as well leave it at 70, man, all right? And you see right here, I got it at 71. This jumps straight from 69 to 71, I think, or maybe it was um probably like 68 to 71. So I just edit and I stop, all right? And I'm very effective mid-range. I get greens all day in the mid-range, especially with this catch and shoot badge and all these badges, mid-range dead eye kicking, you don't need nothing more than a 70 um, one. And look at this. I've only got 60. Max out the three-pointer, please. With my my hands are long as hell, so I only got a 60 on my threes. And y'all already see how I shoot threes with this dude, man. I, I do recommend that you find a good custom jump shot. If you're looking for one, 
I'm probably gonna put the link in the description because I got a few out there that's very effective. Um, get a lot of greens with them. Um, very effective jump shots, man. Um, I advise that you find a good custom jump shot that you're comfortable with, and you know, and again, the shot of the dribble, very effective. A lot of people take this for granted. All right, this is a this is something that a lot of people is not really talking about in the community. All right, shot off the dribble, very very effective. Most players in this game could shoot like shot creators. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. All right, and especially with these badges, yo. All right, very very effective way to score. All right. Um, let me see. That's I think I covered it. Oh yes, one more thing. The playmaker, the playmaking on this archetype is not that good i do advise you playing off the ball and playing with smart point guards you're going to be way more effective that way but it's still handy on the fast break to learn a few dribble moves like the simple crossover behind the back is very effective for making space or maybe a quick double crossover but outside of that don't find yourself dribbling too much on the spot only in transition you could do one or two moves beside that I do not advise you dribbling too much with a lot down defender. I don't even care if it's a point guard. All right, I really don't even care because um I play with a um my boy Fuzzy Bad Feet, and when he's running on a fast break, I gotta watch when I'm passing the ball. Right, because as soon as I pass in the ball, he instantly slows up because the ball um the speed the speed with the ball is so slow. You see a huge difference because he's that fast all right and of course if you're a point guard you're probably gonna be faster than this all right but as i said i want to be able to match up with um point forwards as well as point guards and i do that effectively with this build right here all right six seven 180 quick as hell long as hell beast i'm telling you all right um yeah that's about it for the attributes let me show you all some moves real quick let's get into the moves and um uh, sometimes you control people and just um add an extra boost in your defense just because you know what i mean especially look at me man i'm like i ain't got nothing else to spend vc on because I, i'm not trying to build any player anytime so i ain't going front that grind is not looking appetizing man and let me show you all some dumb packages these are the dumb packages i've been using i ain't going front it's the most riskiest i've been with dumb packages since i've pretty much got this game man all right and it seemed to be working i barely get blocked i mean everyone get blocked a few times but i barely get blocked with this levine this michael jordan i got the 360 in there i got the switcheroo in there i got the clutch baseline cheese reverse dunk i got the baseline reverse off two cheese as well i got the quick drop <laughs> back scratcher cheese and i got that side tomahawk just for safety all right so very effective oh yeah and I, oh yeah i'm using the um the john wall layup and the alley oops equip and no contact no, no oh, put it back put it back nope don't switch it up all right so those are my dunk packages um uh, my jump shot of course is a custom it's up there already i got a tutorial already showing it um so the link is gonna be in the description y'all should definitely try that out um i'm using free show 28 very effective i think this is the default one i never changed it and elite 11 very good shot off the dribble um dribble pull up i mean very effective using that and that's all i changed man look at the dribble moves all the same thing um and i put a bunch of rituals or whatever the case may be um what else i gotta mention something else oh yeah offensive oh uh, let's go to the controllers real quick i do advise when playing with a lockdown defender that you put or any other archetype i just started doing this recently put the pro stick defense to absolute all right so it would be on camera relative going to control sense and put it on absolute the reason for this is i use the right stick to play to, to um steal the ball right now you swing it to the right he swings the left hand to steal the ball basically stealing the ball from me on your right okay and you hit it to the left vice versa very simple and now you got more control over the steals you hit it up that's when they slap the ball up or you hit it down he slapped the ball down very effective way to steal the ball you got more control over your defense this way all right i'm telling you all i'll leave it as intensive d of course 
um box out the cis trend i'll leave it there um sometimes i like to take this down but eh, with a lockdown defender you don't really got to man um because he's that fast he could go through that lockdown um that that box out animation then break out and still beat everyone down the, down the court to be quite honest right and that's pretty much all and of course man pro stick orientation go to absolute man don't even don't even okay don't even think about doing anything else man <laughs> all right okay and my last tip is this man my last tip is play with smart people man remember you're more effective off the ball with a lockdown defender despite what anyone else says you way more effective because of that speed that all oh, that speed you got off the ball that speed that agility okay very effective man so i hope this video helped you all out man and um now you all know what you're gonna have to do with the lockdown defender and yeah man you all know how it is man oh yeah and um one more thing man that that um that pick dodger badge is a little overrated to be quite honest all right I still get knocked over my ass. I still get slowed down a lot going through screens. So it's not that effective to be quite honest, right? So y'all could probably get out on the court before you all really got that badge to hold the fame. I'm just pulling it out there to be quite honest. Your strength will help you a lot. A lot of times they try to knock me down they, and I just, you know, shake me up a little bit and I just stand right up very fast, man. So your strength will help out a lot, man. All right. So as I said, I hope this video helped you all out. Remember, if you're your first time to my channel, like the video, share the video, hit your button, subscribe. Not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna help. Your boy Sim, one love, respect, bless.